Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm working in my December daily again. This time I created a single page layout for Story 25 or Christmas Day. I began by printing out a photo that is four by six inches of the Christmas tree with all the presents underneath it. And the bottom portion of the six by eight page, which is what the photo is on, um, I created my own pattern using my Cricut just with a blue pen. It's just a lined pattern. It's really light, so it's hard to see. Uh, it doesn't show up very well in the photos at the end of the video either, but it is there. Over top of the lined paper that I created with my Cricut, I am creating an insert, which is the title page, and then on the back side of it is going to be some of the journaling. That's going to go inside of a flip flap, which is from Close to My Heart. Basically, it is a standalone pocket that has uh, one side of it that is adhesive, so you can attach it to either paper or the outside of a page protector and create a flip out that is protected. So that's what, that's what I'm working on right now. I trimmed my white cardstock down to uh, five and three quarters by three and three quarters. I used my Cricut to write the phrase so very on it. And then I used Photoplay, Tula and Norbert, Tula and Norbert, um, oh my goodness, I'm gonna trip over this. Tula and Norbert's Christmas party, there we go. Um, I used the cardstock stickers and I pulled the word Mary off of the sticker sheet to create my, to complete my title, which is So Very Mary. I also decided to add a speech bubble. There's actually five of them in total, uh, four of them, pardon me. Do I have that right? Four of them. Um, I cut those with my Cricut and then I used a uh, black Spectrum Noir marker just to mark the edges of it. So there is some separation between the white background and the speech bubble. Each of the speech bubbles is going to have a photo inside of it. And they are just some of the pictures of the gifts that my kids got for Christmas this year. So one of the speech bubbles is going on the title page and then the other three are going onto my six by eight layout. They're all going to be adhered with or attached to the layout with foam squares. Here I was sitting trying to figure out how I wanted to attach them. In the end, I decided to use the foam squares. I also decided to let them hang off the edge of the page. I will be trimming off the parts of the speech bubbles that don't fit. And then I'll go back with my black marker and ink those edges again, um, just so that once again, they don't bleed into the background. So I'm just cutting off the excess right now. Once that's done, I'll take my Spectrum, Spectrum Noir marker and fill those in. I really struggled at this point with what I was going to do with the white space around those speech bubbles. So I moved on to doing the journaling portion of the flip out. I pulled out some pattern paper from the Tula and Norbert Christmas party collection and matted my journaling to that. I typed my journaling out on the computer and then printed it with my printer. Trimmed that down to slightly smaller than four by six inches. And then I'm adhering uh, those together. I also used for the title page some different pattern paper from the Tula Norbert's Christmas Party collection as well. That one had presents all over it, which I thought was fitting for a Christmas Day type layout. So the actual title card, if you want to call it that, is adhered to pattern paper as well. So before I go back to completing or filling in the white space around the other speech bubbles, I embellished my photo a little bit with some more stickers from the cardstock sticker sheet. I did have the chipboard stickers pulled out in case I wanted to use those. Um, in the end, I didn't. They were, the images were mm -hmm. too large. And so I stuck with the cardstock stickers instead. Here I'm pulling out some of the phrase stickers at the bottom of the sticker sheet. They're going on top of the speech bubble photos. 
each of them is going to get a sticker and they all say something different. There's joy, there's ho, ho, ho. And then the last one is jolly. This is where I decided to just take the plunge and add some extra journaling around the speech bubbles. I auditioned all sorts of things before I settled on more journaling. Um, I had um, other embellishments pulled out. I had some acetate hearts from Ellie Edwards. I had, um, um, what are they called? Felt hearts as well. I was going to try snowflakes. I tried the phrase ho, 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 and spread it out between each of the speech bubbles and nothing felt right. So I began before I wanted to commit by writing out a little bit of journaling in pencil. You saw me erase it at the beginning of this slide um, because at that point I decided that felt right and so committed with it, committed to it, pulled out a black pen and wrote out my journaling. I am going to add little drawn arrows pointing to each speech bubble as well so that you know what little blurb correlates to what photo. And then at the separation between the photo and the bottom half of this layout, I added an Ellie Edwards felt heart. I want to say foam, but it's felt. <laughs> and another phrase sticker from the Christmas party collection. I used some liquid glue to attach that phrase sticker over top of the felt heart and then foam squares on the other end of it just so everything stays at the same level. I did underline my journaling as well. I really hummed and hawed about whether or not I should do that as well because there already is lines drawn onto the background of that portion of the layout. But like I said earlier, it's really hard to see so um, it ended up working out. That's it for me today, friends. This is story 25. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and a like. If you'd like to see more Cricut projects like this, stick around because I do share lots of that here. And consider hitting the little bell as well so that you are notified every time I post new videos. Have a fantastic Sunday, friends. I'll be back again soon. Bye.